When the pandemic hit, obviously we were very fortunate in esports that we could largely continue on with our competitions, um, but online obviously. But the real challenge was, was the fact that when we pulled together a production, normally we try and bring everyone possible into a studio in order to create the best uh, content we can. So as we've got this distributed number of production staff all over the place, ultimately we need to kind of bring it all together normally. Again, we have very high powered systems uh, based at the studio in which they would have some level of remote connection to within in the space. But when everyone's stuck at home, we had to rely on other PCs and, and laptop hardware. Um, fortunately, if you were to look at the technology stack within a, a, a typical Intel PC or, or high-end laptop, there's a lot of features that are kind of untapped really contributing to a live production on a remote basis. What we found with uh, the main use of our laptops obviously is gaming, um, but what a lot of people are doing obviously is through gaming, they're keeping in contact with their friends uh, where they might actually meet up on a Saturday to go shopping or, or go down the pub on a Friday night or something because you can't do that whilst uh, you're, you know the various lockdowns are in effect. Uh, gaming has become the fallback uh, for people to actually keep in contact with their friends. And it's become the community that it always has been, that you and I know it has been, but um, others are now finding that through gaming, they can join communities that they were never aware of, make new friends and keep in contact with, with uh, that they already know. On top of that as well, people working from home using things like our Blade Stealth, which is our you know, Ultrabook. Uh, it's not really so much of a gaming machine. You can game on it, but you know, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a slightly lower powered machine. And people are using those for work. Um, and then they're also keeping in contact with friends and family. What we also found was our broadcast uh, products, so our microphones and our cameras. They became in really high demand so that people could you know, use them for Skype and Zoom and Discord and whatever, and keep in contact with, uh, with uh, their loved ones that way as well. There was a change away from it being just purely about gaming and it becoming more, much more of a social thing. I have to say that our reliance on technology like laptops and computers supplied by the likes of Razer have never been more prominent and evident and actually a necessity for us during the pandemic. Prior to the pandemic, our model was physical events. We really like physical events because you can have everyone in one place. United means community. We can bring the grassroots gaming community together. We can have our production partner there and everyone can play together. And it's just a lovely environment and actually from a logistical perspective, of course, it's much easier. During the pandemic, we've had to pivot, and it was the first time in April for the Road to Yana competition that we ran an online FIFA event to find the best grassroots gamer to compete against ninjas and pajamas fanatic and football clubs, esports players. And it was a challenge, but we adapted. We, the production was all done online. The broadcast uh, on Twitch has 70,000 unique viewers. And in fact, the gaming community did out by doing things like dialing in after the match when they had succeeded and they would be interviewed live on the stream. And that was just a really nice way to build out their profile. So our reliance on technology has certainly uh, never been higher. And I suspect as we go forward through the pandemic and as we come out the other side, we'll see ourselves mix a little bit between online and physical, knowing that we have the technology out there. We're really excited to be hosting United Against Racism in partnership with Leighton Orient on the 17th of September. This is going to be a five hour stream where the grassroots gaming community can engage with a variety of influencers from cross section of sport and gaming and be educated and understand what is a hugely important societal issue.